guys good morning happy monday it is april 13th and the sun is out it's a little chilly i got my coat on today we're sitting out on the deck uh let's see where should we start today first off hey happy easter yesterday hopefully you guys had a good weekend with the family on easter weekend uh no work last friday so we're kicking it back off today on monday um, we had a couple birthdays over the weekend. Uh, on Saturday was Abby Schnabel. Abby, happy birthday to you. Um, and then on Sunday, which was yesterday, happy birthday to Caitlin Brown. Uh, hope you guys had great days with your family. Um, today we have two birthdays. Today we have Mackenzie Zoff. Mackenzie, happy birthday to you. And we also have Reese Boyer's birthday is today. So ladies, Congratulations on your birthday. Hopefully you uh, had fun with your family or if you're celebrating today, hey, eat some cake for me. Uh, sounds yummy, yummy. Uh, another thing about today is today, the middle school morning announcements. Check out Mrs. Johnson's video. Uh, she is today's host for the morning announcements. She's pretty funny, so uh, you might want to check that out. Um, let's see. Last week, we were working on our packet, all right? So our big map packet, we finished that up last week. And what you guys were supposed to do is to take your answers to the questions and you were supposed to fill out the Google form on the computer. So I noticed that there were quite a few of you that did not take your answers from the packet and put it in the Google form. So make sure that you get that completed. Uh, if you don't remember how to do that, you just need to go back into Google Classroom. You can see me in the screen there. Um, go back to Google Classroom and scroll down to last Thursday. And when you get to last Thursday, you'll see that you have a Google form that you need to fill out. Okay. Uh, but make sure that you get that done. So anytime you need any post from previous days or you can't remember what we did, just scroll down and you'll see all that stuff is listed in there. All right. So let's see. What's the next thing we need to do today? We need to talk about what we're getting ready to do, uh, what we're going to work on uh, all the way to the end. And that is the seventh grade um, standards. OK, so the stuff that you're supposed to learn in seventh grade, we're going to review some of that stuff. Um, it's going to be over different areas in seventh grade science. And the stuff that you were taught last year, it's just kind of to review all of that stuff that you did learn last year. How are we going to do that? Okay, well, you guys are going to be led through a PowerPoint slideshow um, by myself every morning. So on our videos, we're going to have uh, these um, questions from seventh grade over the seventh grade standards. I'm going to walk you through those questions and then you guys are actually going to fill out a handout uh, that is assigned on Google Classroom as an assignment. So let me show you that. So if you guys go into Google Classroom and you go up here to the top, you can see we're on the stream. That's where you see all the announcements. If you go over to Classwork and you guys have been doing this all year with your objectives, you'll see that I posted something today. And it says it's due on May 22nd. Okay, if you've been following the videos from Dr. Latrell and listening to your teachers, you know that May 22nd is going to be our last day of school this year. So this is going to be due on that day. When you go in here to your assignments, this is going to open for you. It's already going to make a copy for you, so you don't need to copy it. I've got it set up to do that. So when you click on that, it's going to open this up and this document is going to be able for you to type on. All right. It's going to say that it is your copy. All right. So you can see we're going to start out with energy and then it's going to go through a bunch of different areas that you should have learned from seventh grade science. All right. So we've got energy and then we've got like force of motion. We've got all kinds of stuff, atmosphere, electricity. All kinds of good stuff, all right? So today, we are going to start at the top, and that is going to be over energy. So I'm going to walk you through these questions and these answers, all right? And we're going to do just a few each day, all right? So today, we're going to do energy numbers one, two, three, and four. So where are you going to get your answers for the energy one, two, three, and four on this video right here? Okay, tomorrow, we'll start with number five, and we'll keep going 
So you will fill out your paper, your handout that I just showed you on the computer right there. You're gonna fill out your handout by watching these videos and I will give you the answers. When we're done on May 22nd with the whole packet, all right, then you'll hit submit in Google Classroom, you'll turn it in and then you'll get a grade for that work, okay? So if you have any questions or you can't find the answer, you just go back and watch the video. I've got a PowerPoint that I'm gonna lead us through, all right? So if I go up here to the top, let me see if I can find my mouse, there it is. I go up here to the top. This is the PowerPoint that I'm gonna walk you guys through and this is gonna have the answers on it, all right? So if I go over here to present, you guys will need to pull up the document, okay, where the questions are, and you will need to type your answer as you watch this video. Or you can watch the video and then fill it out at the same, or, you know, after you're done watching the video. Either way, it does not matter to me, all right? So the first area that we're going to talk about with that sun shining on the screen it's got me in the background there. I apologize. Um, so, energy. The first one is to state the law of conservation of energy. All right, we've talked about that. Let me see if I can fix that background a little bit and get that reflection off of there. Well, it's a little bit better, I guess. Okay, so state the law of conservation of energy. We talked about the law of conservation of mass in eighth grade. You should have talked about the law of conservation of energy in seventh grade uh, with all those energy conversions that you did in Mrs. Bruns and Mrs. Kreitz's class. So the law of conservation of energy says that energy is neither created nor destroyed, but it is changed from one form to another. All right, so everything or the amount of energy on the planet stays the same, but we can change that energy from one form to another, all right? So think about um, a plant. If a plant uh, is going through photosynthesis, where did that energy come from? Well, that energy is gonna come from the sun, right? That radiant energy that comes down to the, to the earth and it goes to the plants. There you see the trees in the backyard going through photosynthesis. The grass is starting to green up because it's springtime. So photosynthesis takes that energy from the sun and then it converts it into food, right? Glucose, that sugar that the plants eat all day long. Um, so it's just transferred from one type of energy to another. All right, question number two. It says a car engine burns gasoline, converting blank energy and gasoline into blank energy. All right, well, let's think about this. Where is the energy stored in the gasoline? What kind of energy is found in gasoline? Well, it's stored in the chemical bonds inside those chemicals that are found in the gasoline, right? So it converts that energy in the gas by converting that chemical energy into what type of energy? A car engine burns gasoline converting chemical energy in the gasoline into mechanical energy, right? It's got to turn that gas, it's going to burn that gas, and that gas is going to release the energy, and then it's going to spin the pistons and the camshaft inside the engine, and that's mechanical, right? The energy of motion is mechanical energy. All right, number three, it says solar cells convert blank energy into blank energy. Solar. Solar is from the sun, right? So radiant or solar energy into what? If you have solar cells on your roof, it's collecting that energy from the sun, and then what is it doing with that energy? Well, it's actually charging a battery, and then you take that electrical energy, and you can turn the light switch on in your house. So solar cells convert radiant energy or solar energy into electrical energy. All right, number four, if you were listening, this is the last one of the day. Number four, it says, energy changes form, but the total amount of energy in the universe stays the blank. Well, this takes us back to number one. Number one was the law of conservation of energy. It says that energy cannot be created or destroyed. It's only transferred from one thing to another. So energy changes form, but the total amount of energy in the universe stays the same. All right. So, hey, that was easy, man. It didn't take very long at all. 
So we just went through numbers one through four. All right, if I back out of the computer screen here, let's see if I can exit this program, close down my slideshow. You can now go back into Google Classroom and you can type your answers to numbers one through four. All right, so tomorrow we're gonna start on day on number five, okay, over energy. And uh, if you guys have any questions, you don't know what's going on, you got lost in this video, you can watch it back again, all right? Or you can shoot me an email, all right? So once again, um, you guys have any questions, just email me. Enjoy your day. It's a little chilly outside. Um, Ken's, we're thinking about you. Happy birthday again. Reese, happy birthday to you. Caitlin and Abby, hopefully, hopefully you had happy birthdays this weekend. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.